I, and you guys are welcome to do this as well, <laughs> to imagine yourself in a tiny cottage on a cold winter's day. I love it. <laughs> Just keep imagining. It's a cabin, really, situated on a scenic bluff many miles from the nearest town. In fact, your closest neighbor is across the canyon, and you don't even have internet here. It's quiet. It's remote. It's... You're inside. <laughs> your cottage. That you're in. <laughs> Try not to break the spell. So you're back in this cottage, and you've just removed a quivering brass kettle from the wood stove to pour yourself some coffee. A fire is rearing up in the hearth. And you can hear the wind outside, begging in vain to be let in. It's so cozy in here, and you've got everything you need for a long weekend inside. Freshly baked bread, plenty of hot cider, a sprawling novel, or perhaps a hit book by my teammate uh, John Ronson here, whether it's a psychopath test or the Ministry of Goats from This American Life, maybe you're listening to that. And you've got all the people you most love there with you, your family. Your youngest sets the table for dinner, homemade beef stew, while the older one reads aloud from last week's newspaper. <laughs> No mention of Solange. Solange. You're smiling at it all, at the perfect peacefulness of it all, the beauty of your family's small, quiet labors, and you're happy to be inside on such a harsh and snowy night when there's a knock on the door. You're not expecting your parents until tomorrow. It's the first Christmas that everyone's going to spend up at the cabin together. So this must be their idea of a surprise. You run to the door and you open it, but before you can say, Mom, a strange man with a crowbar pushes you inside. <laughs> a second man comes in, and a third. And this isn't fiction. This isn't the fugitive. This is real life. <laughs> They're both carrying shotguns, and one of them has a ponytail. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's a home invasion. <laughs> Very common when you stay in. Anyway, the men, one of whom looks a lot like a fat Ray Liotta, <laughs> tie you and your family up and do a lot of laughing and screaming as they ransack your little cottage and they do all kinds of stereotypical home invasion stuff like taunt you and emasculate the man of the house and smell <laughs> underwear and they make fun of your music collection and hold a knife up right up to your cheek and say things like, How's your fancy college education going to help you now, huh? <laughs> They continue to torture you psychologically and physically all night and into the next day until your parents arrive, which gives you a moment of false hope. But they tie them up and make them eat their own poop for some reason. <laughs> because these home invaders are sickos. Then they kill everyone and burn the house down. And there's a whole segment on it on NBC, uh, Dateline NBC, because they never did find the killers. And anyway, I tell you this story not to prove a point, but to illustrate two points. One, Dateline NBC is one of the most underrated shows on television. And two, staying in is dead. If you don't believe me about the first point, just ask the hypothetical version of yourself who had to experience that horrible tragedy that I made up. <laughs> to illustrate the point. Oh, you can't because you're dead. Why couldn't I have just been in a park or on a sidewalk or an outdoor pavilion or amphitheater of some kind? Any place that wasn't inside, your hypothetical angel would say, while floating up from your charred, dead body to heaven. Why did I have to stay in? Well, I've got even more news. Bad news, that is, for you, pal. Heaven isn't real, and neither are angels. <laughs> Look, I used to be inside all the time. I loved it. I thought it was great. I was intoxicated by the stairs and doors. <laughs> The sinks, and the carpeting, and the computers. 
But you know what's on computers? Porn. And you know what porn leads to? Getting caught by your mother-in-law watching porn. And you know what that means? She already saw you, so you may as well finish up, but it's not going to be satisfying. When are we going to learn as a society that staying in is killing us? It's killing our boys and girls. Listen, listen to me now. These are facts. For years, we've been fed the same old lines. Home is where the heart is. Home sweet home. Stay inside or get cream pie. <laughs> Little Billy Winkett didn't stay home, went insane and thought he was a turtle. But I'm here to tell you that these extremely common phrases that we've all heard over and over and over and over and over again are not true. What is true are facts. And these facts speak for themselves. Fact. A lot of the best science of all time was done outside. <laughs> Newton in the apple tree. Galileo dropping an apple from the Tower of Pisa. <laughs> Einstein's theory of relativity at a picnic. And the Large Hadron Apple Collider. Fact, there are no homeless serial killers. Fact, the vast majority of diarrhea produced each year is done while inside a house. You wouldn't eat your own diarrhea, would you? Of course not. The show Homeland used to be pretty good, but now it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's gotten way out of hand. It's like Claire Danes. It's not, it's not an acting contest. <laughs> Fact. Mein Kampf was written indoors. Fact. And this is a common one that uh, proponents of not being outside are going to use time and time again, so listen carefully to these stats. 91% of people who were fatally hit by a bus were walking to the bus from inside a building or planning to take the bus to wind up at another building of some kind. Fact. Most incest takes place inside. Don't hear a lot of stories about outdoor incest. You just don't. Fact. Cheetahs, which live primarily outdoors, are the fastest land mammals, reaching speeds of up to 70 miles an hour. Fact. All of Dean Koontz's books were written indoors. Get a little bit more left. We'll, we'll, let's move we'll it for Fact. The American Medical Association probably lists up to 15 physical and emotional ailments that are either directly or fictitiously tied to prolonged periods of staying inside. These include ennui, bed sores, <laughs> brittle ankles, eye strain, video game thumb, gout, sallow skin, falling down the stairs, gout to the revenge. Inside scurvy, termites, web surfers' buttocks, dumbness, uncontrollable weeping, Kardashian elbow, dementia, and feline urinary tract infection. Fact! Jesus, who was one of the top guys ever, was inside for three days straight once, and he literally rose from the dead to get back outside. These are facts. No matter what kind of emotionally charged propaganda my colleagues may use, reason will always win out. Side. So in closing, ask yourself if you can do this indoors. Thank you very much. And best of luck.